Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Training's Complex Leverage Buyout Modeling Course. At this point, you should have already completed our previous two sections in which we created the Core Projection Standalone Value Model for JCPenney. What we will now do is build our LBO summary starting with our valuation as well as our summary sources and uses and this will basically drive the entire projection model. Account will be forward. the ultimate balancer. This would be all uses of funds minus every other item in my sources of funds. The equity is going to balance everything and why? Briefly explain this in our LBO overview course. There are two ways to balance the sources and uses. The f first way is to hard code an equity amount. By hard coding an equity amount you are now letting your debt flow freely and your revolver will balance the sources and uses. That may be okay, but unfortunately you have not maxed out your debt capacity. So my preference is to actually build in a revolver formula in a second that will then say let's maximize our debt capacity and then whatever is left over, the equity guys, the private equity sponsors are going to have to fork it up. This way in cell N20 we will now say equals N32 minus the sum of everything on top of me from N. 14 through M19. Please make sure your formula now matches what I've got here. Now, in N21, I want you to take the summation of everything from N14 through N20. And right now you'll see that your sources and uses balance, but we didn't plug in our revolver. So let's go ahead and now plug in our revolver. But I want you uh, to think about this here, and I'm going to just create a new blank spreadsheet. So let me take some very quick notes so we understand the logic of balancing it. As again, as we had said before, balancing the sources and uses. Two ways. First way is to use the revolver to balance. This means that the equity amount is hard coded or you specify an equity percentage or whatever. I don't like this method for the very simple reason is that you potentially don't max out your debt capacity. Potentially don't max debt capacity. The second way, which is my personal preferred method, is to have the equity balance. Why? Because we're first going to have the revolver fully max out the debt capacity. Now. We have another constraint here. The other constraint is simply that, as you may recall, we cannot let the revolver balance. The revolver has a cap. The revolver is capped at the revolver capacity. Because the revolver is capped at the revolver capacity, here's what I want you to do. It's a simple, quick min formula. Here's how this min formula is going to work. First of all, we're going to say the following. We're going to say H35. By the way, what's H35? That's my max debt capacity. This number minus the sum of N17 through N19. This is all my new debt raised. This formula by itself allows you to maximize your debt load. But we did have a switch in there, if you recall, that said you can't borrow more than that 1500 bucks on your revolver. So we're going to say, give me the minimum of R18, my maximum capacity on my revolver. This way, what we are saying is, if this maximum debt load amount blows through your capacity, then basically just borrow what you can on your capacity and then the equity will balance everything. But recall there's one more thing you need to incorporate here. Remember, in order to get our proper uh, debt sweep working, what do we have to do? We have to make sure the revolver balance never goes below zero. So in the event that you accidentally hard-coded your term loan, senior, or sub-debt such that that was greater than age 35, your maximum debt capacity, you're going to have a negative number. Again, if you actually coded your total debt that you borrow higher than your debt capacity, your revolver is going to go negative. Don't let it go negative because then your debt suite will not work. So what we need to do now is to wrap a max zero function around this as follows. We will now wrap a max zero 
around this whole thing to say as follows. Never go negative. Never go negative. And therefore, this is the formula that I'm now going to highlight for you on the screen that we will use to make sure that this is good. Got it? So let's go ahead and code this into our revolver formula in our cell N16. 